we just had a great, great series, one for the ages. You know what I'm saying? We had two players battling, putting up 50, 40, 90, uh, everything. They're putting up everything. And then the last game was a nail biter, like every game seven should be. Every bucket is hard to score. They're not calling these sticky tech fouls. Everybody is playing defense, beating their man to the spot. That's NBA basketball. Donovan Mitchell, if you don't like Utah, if you're tired of Royce O'Neal playing 41 minutes, putting up five points, if you're tired of Joe Ingles playing 38 minutes and putting up seven points, three for 10 shooting, I know you mad Mike Conley played all them goddamn minutes and put up eight points. I know you are. <laughs> and if you're tired of carrying your team, especially at a young age, no player should go through this at his age. Come to Lake Show, we'll treat you right. We got AD over here, he's better than Rudy Gobert. If you're tired of putting up godly stats and losing a 3-1 lead, come over, bro. We got room for you. But besides the point, this was a great series. This probably was the best playoff duel. Everybody will talk about this. Just like how people talk about Magic and Larry Bird, Michael Jordan versus Clyde Drexler, but that was a one-sided. This will go down as one of those. Allen Iverson and Vince Carter. The main reason why this was so great because Donovan Mitchell and Jamal Murray both kind of play the same position. I mean, they're both on the depth chart are the lead guards, you know what I'm saying? And they both kind of the same size and they both guarded each other. That's what makes a duel special in the NBA. When two young guys who won it all in the playoffs go for it and they both delivered. Like, you can't tell me who won this matchup, you know what I'm saying? I'll give it to Jamal maybe because he won the game and hit some great clutch shots in game seven or Donovan Mitchell because he had a more of a low, getting different defensive coverages that, you know what I'm saying, a 6-1 guard should not be able to operate like that. So, it's up to you. But as an NBA fan, this was a great series. Maybe as a Utah Jazz fan, blown with three, one lead, horrible, you know what I'm saying, horrible. Denver Nuggets fan, nigga, you happy. Y'all paid Jamar Murray all that damn money. In the regular season, he had the same exact stats as he had last year. I know y'all was mad, don't lie. But in the playoffs, he delivered. And not just delivered, he played He played to the level of a guy named Michael Jordan, stat-wise. Jamar Murray put up 32 points a game, five and a half rebounds, and six assists in seven games. In the playoffs, shooting 55% from the field and 53% from three with 92% from free throw. God! That's crazy, bro. And nobody expected this, bro. Jamal Murray just was one of those run-of-the-mill scorers, you know what I'm saying? He really wasn't a great passer, but he was passing the ball. He was rebounding. He was playing defense. I don't know what Jamal Murray did, you know what I'm saying? Maybe that little drama he had with that little that little Instagram girl a while ago, if you know what I mean. Google it, you know what I'm saying? This is a PG-rated channel. Had to be something in the water in Florida because he balled. First player to put up three straight 40 point games since Allen Iverson. Allen Iverson, you know what I'm saying? The monumental Allen Iverson. And don't knock Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell averaged 36 points a game, five rebounds and five assists, marking the legendary Michael Jordan in these averages. You know what I'm saying? He was looking like, he was looking possessed. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it's the crowd, but oh my gosh, congratulations. Clap it up for these young dudes, you know what I'm saying? No, I like Donovan Mitchell. You know, he rose in my player rankings as great players. Like, back then, I'm like, all right, he, he good. He good, you know what I'm saying? I like his game. But now he's rising up, you know what I'm saying? And he was devastated when they lost. He was devastated. And that's what you want from a young, hungry guard because it wasn't your fault. And Jamar Murray, if y'all ain't know, I don't like Jamar Murray. I kind of hated him. I don't hate him no more. I don't really hate him no more because, you know what I'm saying, he's probably a straight dude. Hey, it's hard to hate on great basketball. It's very hard to hate on great basketball, especially guys who score from all three levels. And that's is what's gonna win in the playoffs, bro. I don't care about the slashing, the passing, the impact, the things that matter, can you score from all three levels? And that's what these two guys can do. You're just a guy who just take a lot of threes. You're just a guy that just slash his ray to the rim. You will have trouble. Three level scorers strive in these situations. And one of them had to follow up short, and that was Donovan Mitchell. That was a great game seven, great series. I can't wait, you know what I'm saying, to see these players in their prime. 
And this was great basketball to watch. If you didn't like this matchup, you don't like basketball. And if you don't like basketball, and if you like basketball, man, subscribe to the channel, bro. I do this every day, trying to get 400 subs. Yeah, that'll be all for this video, bro. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment of how you think this matchup was. And make sure you just sign pretentious of Breonna Taylor, Mr. Blake, and RP, Chadwick Bozeman. I'm not being political. I just value human life.